Welcome to Picture Healer Channel. Today we are going to look at the Feng Shui for 2022 Year of the Tiger. This one is a little bit different. We are going to look at the luck of the 24 mountains and also the four corner gods or guardians for 2022. We talk a lot about the yearly flying star Feng Shui for 2022. You can check my old videos. I will place a link in the description box if you want to know the luck for each sector. In the center of this chart, you can see the flying star Feng Shui for 2022. The number 5 is in the center, number 9 in the south, number 1 in the north. And as usual, I have south on the top, north on the bottom. So you will need to switch around to fit the modern map. This year, our annual flying star feng shui chart is exactly the same as the luo shu chart. So the south is 9, the north is 1, and the west is 7, and so on. And this only happens once every 9 years. So it's kind of special. And that means every star's power will be amplified, and the inauspicious stars can be worse this year. And today we will look at the 24 mountains or the 24 directions. From this chart, you can see I have the luck for each direction. The red color is either big luck or small luck. The green color areas are neutral and the blue areas are less lucky. And you can find this chart in most traditional Chinese feng shui calendar. And it also says general lucky directions for the year. This year, the lucky direction is the east-west, and the unlucky direction is the north. The lucky directions alternate every year between the east-west and the south-north. So you can see here, 2022, the lucky directions include east and west. And in 2023, it's north-south. 2024, again, it's east-west, and 2025 is south and north. And the unlucky direction also alternate in the order of north, west, south, east. And one major application for the lucky and unlucky directions, including the construction or renovation of the house or construction of the graveyard or the tomb, and if this year your construction site is in an unlucky direction, you should hold on to the construction until next year. Now back to the 24 mountain chart. And we can see the unlucky direction in the north. That's the location of the Shansha, the three killings. And uh, another one is the Sui Po, the ear breaker. That's opposite to Tai Sui the yearly guard, and try to avoid any constructions or renovations in those areas. And the very lucky areas include the east, east 1, 2, 3, southeast 1, northeast 2, and northwest 1. Even the Taishui area, the northeast 3, is considered a small lock. So if your main entrance is in the north area, or the southwest three, the Sui Po area, you should pay extra attention. Or if your bedroom is in the north, you can be affected. But generally, if you keep the place quiet, keep it clean, the Sansa and Sui Po should not affect you. We talk a lot about Feng Shui cures for Sansa and Sui Po. Here I have three examples. You can place a Qi Lin statue here, or a feng shui compass, or a hulu, the Chinese gourd, in the north direction this year to bring protection. And for the tai shui and shui po, if your bedroom location is in those two directions, northeast three or southwest three, or if your entrance is in one of those two directions, you should pay extra attention. Otherwise, tai shui and shui po don't really affect everyone. In the year of tiger, the most affected animal sign is a tiger. 
and opposite to that is a monkey. So if your animal sign is either tiger or monkey, you can pay attention and set up some feng shui cures. One way is to use a tai shui card or a tai shui plate or keychain to carry with you or display in those directions. Another simple way is to use a three harmony relationship for the 12 animal signs. The chart on the right shows the direction of the 12 animal signs. So if you are a tiger, you can use animal sign, statue, or images of horse and dog. They are like your friends. They can support you and raise your energy. And if your animal sign is monkey, you can display or carry images or statues of dragon and rat. The dragon rat monkey is another three harmony relationship. Now we are going to look at the four corner gods, the Li Shi, Bo Shi, Zhou Shu, and Chan Shi. Those guardians go to different corner every year. Again, there is a special order and it's based on the 12 earthly branches. And this year is the Yin, that's the tiger. The Li Shi is in the southeast, the Bo Shi is in the southwest. The Chan Shi is northwest and Zhou Shu is in the northeast. First, we'll look at the Li Shi. It represents strength, power, soldier, military leader, law enforcer, and related to acute disease. So the Li Shi is a very powerful force and this god is in charge of criminal justice and uh, any type of punishment. So this is a more negative God, and it can also bring acute disease when its negative energy is triggered. So we just have to be more careful in this direction. Avoid any construction or loud noise so we don't trigger any negative energy. So what can we do in this area to bring more positive energy and protection? Here is a list of lucky feng shui items. For example, you can display a pair of dragons, display some jade, or the statue of Qi Lin, or a feng shui compass, luo pan, or the hulu, the Chinese gourd, or the five emperor's coins. Those can help bring positive qi and bring protection. The next god is Zhou Shu, and it's in the northeast this year. The Zhou Shu God is about evaluation, reporting, and recording. This is an auspicious God, so this location is suitable for any construction or ceremony. And if you want to enhance the luck in this direction, you can use Chinese abacus or obsidian crystal, a statue of Qi Lin, or the ink brush, or a lucky bamboo. The next direction is Bo Shi. It's in the southwest in 2022. Bo Shi is the god of fire, and it controls the files, paperwork, and the laws. So the Bo Shi is very intelligent, and it also in charge of the laws and all the rules. This is a very auspicious direction, so you can do any construction or renovation in this direction. And it's also very lucky for intelligence, so you can set up a library in this direction or have some type of office or meeting rooms in this direction. And we can enhance Bo Shi by placing some feng shui items in the southwest. Some examples include the Wenchang Pagoda, Ink Brush, Lucky Bamboo, and the Qi Lin. So this is similar to number four star in the Flying Star. It's like enhancing the star of intelligence. The last one is Chan Shi, that's in the Northwest in 2022. The Chan literally means silk worm. So this is about production of silk fabric. And in the ancient times, 
Those works are usually done by laborers or criminals. So this also have negative meaning that's related to jail or restricted space. The Chan Shi can be negative, so we try to avoid any construction in the northwest. If we do too much construction, it can affect the silk production or affecting your business. So how do we enhance the luck in this direction? Here are some feng shui items you can display. You can display dragon turtle or a pair of dragon or any type of jade, statue of Pisho, or a money frog. Because this area is related to business and wealth, so any type of wealth enhancer should help, including the money frog or the treasure chest or money jar to symbolize abundance. Out of the four directions, the Li Shi and Chan Shi are always opposite. And it's better not to have constructions in those two directions. And the Bo Shi and Zhou Shu are always opposite. And those are lucky directions you can have renovation or any type of construction. And this is a pretty simplified system. If you want to know more detail, you can always check the Flying Star chart. Thank you for watching today and see you next time.